and uh, the news uh, very quickly from here of course is that Bangladesh have won the toss and they have uh, decided to bat. Now Brett Lee starting the proceedings. A gentle loosener there, but a hint of swing already. Nicely played. First runs on the board for Bangladesh. Shagir Nafiz opening his account and the Bangladeshi account. Picking up uh, two very comfortable runs. That short and pulled away beautifully. No problem whatsoever from Shagir Nafiz. First boundary for him and for Bangladesh. This time for Skwelek, another boundary. Yes, he's got enough on it. He's got enough on it. 50 comes up in just the 10th over. Now, how good a shot is that? Good enough. Good enough, but great merits, bowling straight, and Gillespie's got him on the sort of half-forward shot. Stride not quite long enough, I suspect, and he's earned the verdict. So first wicket, and he's feeling a little better, Jason Gillespie. Well, it was, was it? A little bit, a bit of disappointment there for the batsman, but he doesn't take a big step. Just watch where this pitch is. Well, it's going to hit middle stump, isn't it? There's not a lot of question. Look at the front foot. His back foot is way behind the crease. Hardly got forward. It's not going to go anywhere else but hit middle stump about halfway up. Gillespie's happy. Well, Ricky Ponting will be a little happier too. So Javed Umar Belim is gone. He's gone for 27 and Bangladesh lost their first wicket. Hoping the face off the bat. There's no third man. Another boundary. And that was nicely played. Again, knowing there's not enough bounce on the wicket, and there's no swing opening the face of the bat, safely played. So, a bit of turn, then carry to the first slip. In fact, a plenty of turn. It's the lack of bounce, that's what's happening there. Then carry to the slip fielder. That's a good shot. Ample time to rock back and crack it to the point fence. The 100 comes up for Bangladesh uh, and inside 20 overs. You know, the 25 minutes to play, this is uh, quite a dream session for Bangladesh so far. Yes, he had lots of time, he hit it in front of square. This has been a, a dream session for Bangladesh. Let's find the gap again. There's a problem with the slip caught in here for Australia. They, they believe they can only accommodate two slips in a gully. And so they're trying to find a slip fielder to field everywhere. And Nafis is uh, cutting through them at the moment. It's second test match 50. And a very good one indeed. Yes! Oh, was there an edge on that one? Was there an edge on that one? Because uh, certainly Vaughan is suggested said come on he said thought I heard a little sound as it went by there's no signal from the umpire yes it's gloved it is it there was bounce there it's probably taken flick the glove on the way the thumb what a shot just a little bit of width off it and it's been crashed past point for a boundary 151. Oh, a chance there. Shane Warne, it went to his wrong hand, to the left hand. Shane Warne's uh, wide second slip, almost third slip. It's the only slip fielder there. and But it's got to go down as a chance. See how wide he is. Yeah, and if he's on the front foot again. Good attempt there from Warney. Usually he pulls those ones in. He did the good work. There's the fees just uh, playing at that one there. Warn has to go to his left. It went fairly quick. Very good attempt, but uh, well, not so for the Australians.
Yes, he's got it. Just waited on that shot a little bit with a slow ball. Just waited on that shot. Beautifully played. 24th 50 for uh, Habibul Bashar. He's taken Bangladesh to 161 now for one. He slashes and slashes hard. And that races away to the boundary. Oh, now that's a shot he's played so profitably today. And that boundary takes him to one shot of his maiden Test match hundred. Wow, what an inning and what a shot that was. He's on 99. Only one away, 100 from his first Test 100. There was two fielder there, mid wicket and square leg, and both have both had no chance whatsoever, whatsoever to stop that particular shot. And partnership is now 150. So the field comes up uh, to try and save the single. Have to wait for the umpire signal here. Punch into the air from Sharia Nafiz. He reckons he's got some bat on it. Boundary signal. And a terrific hundred here for the young man. First hundred in Test match cricket. And uh, just been told it's his first hundred in first class cricket as well. And what a time to do it. It's against Australia. A great moment. The first hundred against the world champions, playing first time against them ever. Oh! Should get some more runs there. Thick outside edge, maybe even a boundary. Yes. So three boundaries in this over. 47 overs ball, 222 for one Bangladesh. Big shout. Well, I think Stuart McGill was appealing for the leg before. I think it was the wrong one, while uh, fielder at forward short leg was perhaps checking if there was a bit of bat on it. That was a very well bold uh, by Stuart McGill. That's, That's gone in the air. That'll be out. <laughs> Stuart McGill has given the breakthrough for the Australians. He's picked up by the captain of the Bangladesh team, Habibul Basham. Long hopped and hit straight to in the air, in the hands of Brett Lee. Well, you would have to actually question uh, why that shot was played. Habibul Basham, as the captain, should have known that this was going to be the last over before T. Look at that. He tries to play the pull shot. And the ball bounces a little more than he anticipated. And Bretley takes a catch at uh, mid on. Unnecessary fall of a wicket there. Habibul Bashar, the Bangladesh captain, is the man out. Bangladesh have lost their second wicket for 238. Catch! That's a great shot. There were, there were three fielders there, one at uh, square leg. Saving one and two, one was mid wicket and one at square leg. Nobody had a chance to stop that one. It was very firmly played and right into the gap. It was high up in the air though. Yes, I think he's hit it well. He's picked his spot well. When he hit it up in the air, he knew that there was a fielder at square leg near the umpire, but nobody behind for the catch. Looking to sweep, this time a little too full, and Sharyar Nafis's honeymoon innings is over. Yes, and credit here to the bowler. He's uh, out thought the batsman. Stuart McGill might go for runs, but he has this knack of baking partnerships and picking up wickets. And what he's done different here is uh, it's a ball that's fuller in length. And that's gone through to hit the stumps. Have a look here. I might have been better off just meeting it on the full and driving it through mid-wicket instead off for the sweep and misses it altogether. Just what uh, Australia needed. This is the kind of uh, Philip that could lift up the side at this stage. 
Man, a superb innings coming to an end. Played really well, the young man. 138 from 189. Departs to a standing ovation. 265 for three. Oh. Oh, he read that beautifully. Read that quite beautifully. There's no disdain to that shot. The moment he picked the wrong one, then 90% of his job is done. Yes, and uh, look at the footwork. Back and across. So he's got the start. Bangladesh hoping for. He's on his way very quickly. He's on 20. That should be pretty close. Yes, it is. Gillespie bowls wicket to wicket, stump to stump. And if you miss on this pitch where there is not much bounce, you are going to be in trouble. Mamad Ashrafol making the long walk back. Maybe he feels he got an inside edge. Well, he looks a little disappointed. And he shuffles across the crease. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I don't know. It looked like it missed to me, but I don't think it's going to miss those stumps. Bat didn't look like it made connection there. Gillespie right back in front of the crease. His second wicket. And a very handy the way that Ashraful was looking at the moment. So Gillespie takes two. 295 for four. Shane Warns off the field. Andrew Simons uh, is substituting for him. Warren uh, had some problems with the shoulder. Well, almost again for Stuart McGill. Trying to flay that one through covers. Got the inside edge. Still went fairly close to that leg stump. And three ended up for uh, Bangladesh with that streaky shot. Big shout. Everybody's appealing, including the fielders at uh, short mid wicket. But umpire Kauri unmoved. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, big appeal from the Australians, but I think he may have hit these pad with his bat. At no stage uh, did the batsman look ruffled about this. Let's have a look. Well, no, there's nothing. He doesn't hit his pad, but big appeal from the Australians. Let's have a look from behind. Good shot. No messing around there. Fractionally really over pitched, and uh, that was good enough for Aftab. Well, that has been the order of the day uh, so far in the Bangladesh innings. Anything pitched up or short is put away for boundary. Look at that shot. Nothing wrong in that. Stand and deliver. Strange shot of play because McGill is turning the ball a great deal. Oh, and a direct hit would have had him in trouble. What so, are they doing? On two counts, really, was he? Absolutely. The 20 minutes to go you just mentioned and playing a shot against a spin, that's what Australia wants. They're tired. Just see it off. Just play the to last five to eight overs. And there's no point or there's no need to play risky shots. That's what they want. That's what Australian wants oh, bowlers to want them to do. Oh, I guess uh, two points of view possible on that. Now the throw is in. Oh. And you'd have struggled. Now then, there's a catch put down there. 82 overs gone. It's 344 for four. Uh, eight points. Yeah. This is the drop catch there. There was a slight nick there. Oh, there and ball didn't bounce at all. But it was a simple catch again, and uh, Stuart McGill is very, very frustrated and angry, obviously. He is disheartened. Right, now there's Stuart McGill. He's just had a catch dropped of his bowling. There, come on. Ooh, ooh. I hope he's cursing himself. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that. I hope so, because he's a vice captain there who dropped the catch there. And this is clever cricket. They're just taking singles, rotating the strike. 
and that's what you're talking about really on experience these guys these boys experienced and the crowd is there very much enjoying they had they enjoyed the day today very much i think because a lot of boundaries Yes, good run as well. End of the day, Brett Lee's done a lot of bowling. He's not going to be charging away to his left to cut the single. Good thinking. Yes. Straight into yes. midwicket. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Stuart McGill's got a comment on that as well, but he might, uh, might as well enjoy it because right as the shadows are lengthening, Bangladesh have thrown one away. Exactly. That's not. Uh, that was a bad delivery, and again, it was unlucky for Aftab to find the fielder right there. He middled it nicely, and went straight to Matthew Hayden. He didn't make any mistake, and Australia is back in the game. Aftab Ahmed goes for 29. Bangladesh 351 for five. That's played uh, handsomely off the back foot. Uh, you, you've talked about closing fielder, but what has done is uh, there are open spaces, and if you drift down the leg side, all ball out to the off thumb, there are opportunities for batsmen to score runs, and that's what exactly happened. Out to the off thumb, first boundary from the back of Rajin Saleh today. He's put it down. Not what the doctor ordered. Quite the contrary. Came in and went out pretty quickly. Oh, this is going to be really frustrating, but he's got no one to blame. There's a bit of irony in this one, isn't it? He moved the fielders around everywhere, and then the one that gets the catch is the bowler himself. Oh, it's just come too slow to him. He's bowled the slow ball, the batter's hit it straight back to him, and it didn't get there quick, and that's why he's dropped it. Rajin Saleh, run away from his half century. And he'll get it. He's charging down the wicket. That's good enough for him. Well played. Rajin Saleh, hard-working man. Won't quite see the most breathtaking strokes for him, but uh, he's worked hard for it and he deserves the applause. Hey! Oh, now that was a backward in the air, I think it was. They're celebrating already, he's called for the, for the replay, but I'm pretty certain the backward was in the air. The batsman's starting to walk already. Oh, what a moment this will be. The batsman's decided, Khalid Mashoud is a wicketkeeper himself. He thinks his foot is in the air. The Masood will see it from side on here. Forward he goes. He doesn't get to the pitch of the ball. Definitely up by miles. And doesn't get back at all. Easy uh, stumping there from Gilchrist. Another good wicket there for Stuart McGill. And just what the doctor ordered. Masood, he leaves. And Bangladesh, 398 for six. There was the wrong end. There's a fielder there, Bradley, went straight to him. 400 up for Bangladesh. For fourth time they reached 400 figure in test cricket. And only six wickets down and the crowd is loving every minute of it. It's a great achievement by Bangladeshi batsmen against the world champions. Turned away, it could be a boundary. Yes, it is a boundary. Use the pace of the ball. Ball directed at his pads. Just helped it along Rajat Saleh. One of the rare boundaries this morning. Oh, he's bowling. Went for the big one. It was always on the card. Stuart McGill gets five. And that's reward for some good honest bowling by Stuart McGill. So Rafiq went for the hike over mid-wicket. And has been bowled for six. Yes, it was on the cards. As we said, he'd come out after lunch and uh, play his usual shots. Stuart McGill, the blow, just tosses one up. Just caught that leg stump. Didn't really get to the pitcher, but that was a real tail-end slog there, more than anything. McGill gets his fifth wicket. So that is 4-1-6 now for seven. Catch! Yeah! Yes, straight into short leg. Andrew Simons picks it up, and what a soft dismissal for Rajin Saleh, who have been batting for upwards of uh, four and a half hours, and then just knocks a simple one down to short leg, and McGill gets six. Well, that is six, that's right, he could end up with eight. But uh, we're very disappointed in that. It was a really an anti-climax, wasn't it? It was a nothing shot. I think he's got tangled up. Did him in flight, 
You'll see the ball land short of him, but I think he's bat hit the ground. And Andrew Simons has got a helmet on there. I don't think he needs it for that catch. You won't get him much easier than that. McGill, he's a little happier this time. Gets his sixth wicket. And uh, maybe he was given too much Vegemite as a kid. That's why he finds it difficult to be happy. But that's, that's the end of Rajin Saleh. And that's four. He's given him. Number seven for Stuart McGill. When the ball hits you on the full, you've got to zoom. It's going to go straight on. And I think that's what... Uh, Alim Dara has ruled on, so Stuart McGill gets number seven, and all of a sudden this Bangladesh innings is hurtling towards the end. Well, it is, it was a good quick delivery there from Stuart McGill, caught the batsman, he's unawares. Just have a look at this again, he just zots it in, straight over the top. Well, it's caught him on uh, leggish dump, but it's going to be a leg spinner, not forward, nowhere, caught him right on the crease, big shout from McGill, and umpire Alim Dahl agrees so that's McGill's seventh wicket the ninth for Bangladesh yes and they're going on pretty quickly now 424 for nine Alright, Joe. and now McGill searching for his eight Go. there was an opportunity for uh, Shada the center put that away for the boundary there was no protection in the deep uh, Full toss bowled by Stuart McGill, but uh, it's straight to the fielder. Only a single. As he's bowled extremely well today. Nice rhythm. He's in no hurry whatsoever. Not afraid to give the ball air. He's getting a prodigious turn. Number eight for Stuart McGill, and uh, he deserves it. He's taken the responsibility on his shoulders, brought into the attack early today, and he's not disappointed uh, his captain. No shame worn today, and uh, Stuart McGill has stepped up to the plate for Australia. Eight for 108, and that's the last man to go, invited into the drive, and the outside is taken. Now, these are his best figures in Test Match Cricket. Bangladesh, all at 427. What an effort uh, from Stuart McGill. Coming into bowl today with the no Shane Warren around him, but uh, paid the dividends, picking up uh, eight wickets, best ever figure for him. Best uh, for any bowler in Bangladesh. Well, uh, there must be quite uh, happy to see the back of uh, Bangladeshi batsman in the pavilion finally after 123.3 overs Bangladesh have been out and well done Stuart McGill and well done Bangladesh for boasting that big total right so there you are then uh, last man out was uh, Inamul Haq uh, it'll be interesting to see how the Bangladesh spinners go though they've got 427 runs on the board one big partnership that really was the backbone of this innings that was 187 between Sharyar uh, Nafis and Habibul Bashar but then there was a 56 47 and then look what happened right towards the end after Mohammad Rafiq was out 18 1 7 3 and all they managed was 29 runs for the last four wickets this Fox Sports update is brought to you by Jeep